we shed the light of wisdom and they will rather dwell in the darkness. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahwachach Kodash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, sing honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Kyrie Irving and Kanye West have pretty much opened the Pandora box to the vast majority of people. And it's really a chess move by the Most High. You must remember, man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, how shall a man know his way? You can't serve serve Yahweh and and man. Meaning, you can't be a multimillionaire or even a billionaire, but then speak truth. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. They cover the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who are they? If you light a candle, you cover it. Well, you're covering the, the light. So the judges will be who? Isaiah, David, Nahum, Micah, Matthew, John, and so forth, right? Those will be the judges, i.e. the prophets today, the men you see on the highways and byways. That will be us. <clears throat> so if they would do that, what make you think that they will not try to hide the truth of who you are from you? That's why they keep saying anti-semi-truck, right? I got to use certain words. Anti-semi-truck or hate speech. It hurts us. It hurts us. What it is, is hurting your narrative. Because the light, according to the Bible, is the truth. But before I put the wagon before the horse, let me open up with this. This is St. John chapter 3, verse 18 through 21. He that believeth on him <clears throat> is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Now, a lot of people use whatever name they claim to be the truth, but through extensive research and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, we know it to be Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. So, if you are to be the Lord's people, would not you want to use his name? And it's only begotten, it's only begotten son's name. But the small hats, the 1948ers, the Bafflo declarate um, um, contributors, <clears throat> they say Hashem. If you ask any one of those curly sideburns wearing people, <laughs> what's the name? They'll say Hashem. Well, we know Ha means the, and Shem means name. That's not the name. Because Malachi 1 and 14 it says what? My name is dreadful to the heathen. So why would you not want to say the name if you are to be that people? Right? They don't like the light. So let's go. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men loved darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. <laughs> I must give kudos to this one. Uh, I will call her a woman. Um, that works at the gym I go to. And she reads her Bible every day. She's trying to raise her children. She always rebuking some. She rebuked Halloween. She rebuked Christmas. She rebuked feminism. She rebuked all of that. And she even said she believed that. <laughs> forgive me y'all. She even said that she believed that we are God's chosen people. I.e., she was adopted. Like I said, her father's a Jake, her mother was a Caucasian woman, the Edomite, and then she was adopted by a Jewish man and a Judahite woman. The Jewish man, of course, went by Judaism, and the mother was a Christian, and not one of them ever pressed her on what she should believe in, but she was taught both ways of that life. And she resorted to the Bible and she still believes she's an Israelite. That's so spiritual. I can't explain it. But this is what she said to me the last time we were speaking. I said, you know, I always quote scriptures. And I said, you know, the light is the wisdom that people don't want. And she said, well, why would you want to wake somebody up? I said, what do you mean? She said, when you're sleeping, doesn't it feel good, right? You don't want to be woken up. And she attended to a custom. I said, damn, I like that one. I like that one. And that's what it is. Because when you close your eyes, it's darkness, right? When you open them. 
it's like. You know what it's like when you was young and, you know, you running late for school. So, you know, your parents or your guardian or, your guardian or whoever is, whoever's over you will cut that light on. When you open your eyes, you squint in your eyes. You all moving slow. You, you kind of getting angry and everything. Like, get up. It's time to go to school. You're going to be late. That's what it's like. They want to stay asleep. They want to stay rested. Right? This is um, <clears throat> St. John chapter 3, verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Mm. Verse 21. But he that doeth trust, sorry, forgive me. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. Because at the end of the day, the, there's so much circular history out there. From Babylon to Timbuktu, nature knows no color line, um, modern. Russians and Brits icons. What are um, the thirteen tribe, the 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 Herodian dynasty, no, the Herod the Edomite. I mean, there's so many books outside of the Bible that speaks about the so-called white man being Edomites, descendants of Esau. So then, who are the Israelites? We know through secular history, it's the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. How come the pyramids over in Mexico have the same dimensions as the pyramids in the treasure cities of Pitum and Ramses? Huh? The Lord said that his people will go into slavery on ships. The Lord said that there will be a yoke of iron around our necks. They have that in American history museums. A yoke of iron. Around our necks. You can't make that up. But they would rather dwell in the darkness than come to the light. So, <clears throat> Second Corinthians 4 and 6 through 7. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Yahweh Shabmashiach. We have the knowledge of we have the wisdom. Because what did the Lord say about his people? My people are destroyed for a lack of what? Knowledge. And Esau enjoys destroying us. Because it's pretty much his get back at our forefather Jacob for getting the birthright. But it was your forefather who sold it. That's why you're such a kid. You're always crying. That's Esau's nature. Crying to, try, crying to Papa. Isaac, Isaac, you don't have a, you don't have a blessing for me. Right? What happened when Esau lose on a video game? They trashed their whole... They, they had like two or three grand worth of like computer and, and, and video uh, graphic or cars and everything. They lose one match. They'll break the keyboard, smash the screen, throw a cross, throw it out the window and punch a hole in the wall and curse out their mama. That's Esau, man. That's Esau. Late Jake do that. <laughs> You're going to wake up in the, in the ER with your mama saying, you all right? <laughs> or your daddy or whoever, you know? We know how it is. But they don't want this light. Verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. And that's what put fear inside the, the, these people. Even the world. Even Jake who know. But they don't want to lose that bad. Because if what we're saying is true about us being the Lord's chosen people. Then the MOTB has to be true. Then America being mystery or Babylon has to be true. And y'all asses going into slavery has to be true too. And all you Jakes who want to be hand join the hand your ass and go down with them too. I'm tired of it, man. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to have a family, kids, loving women, not wife, women, right? A righteous order in the presence of the elders, in the presence of the holy ones, in the presence of Yahweh Shemashah, the angels, our forefathers, right? Yeah, my own palace, going to different galaxies and. Being interse interstellar, <laughs> interstellar, <laughs> you catching my drift, right? I want to be godly. I'm tired of being a nigga, so to say, right? <clears throat> Acts 5 and 29 through 42. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Oh, you should, you should, you should apologize. You shouldn't say that. That hurts. We're not concerned about how you feel. We concern what's real, and that's the problem. We live in an artificial society. 
Remember, but the, the, remember the word devil. Go back to the word diabolos, which means slanderer, liar, deceiver. What's the greatest feat the devil has ever committed on the face of the earth? Convince you he doesn't exist. But man, look around you. All the attributes are there. But you must come to the light in order for you to see it, because it's hard for you to see in the dark. Right? Different levels of wisdom. <clears throat> Acts 5 and 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahushai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins only to Israel. I don't want to make this long, but I'm going to get to the point. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Spirit whom God has given to them that obey him. If you read before the 29th verse, they were like, did we not straight to tell you not to prophesy in his name? You're bringing much, much trouble to us. In other words, Kyrie, why are you saying this? Why are you doing it? You're really hurting us. Man, come on. How are you the Lord's people when you control the world? And look at all this evil. Job 9, 24. Hello. And even Kyrie said it. Kyrie said, how can I be anti semi -truck? If I know who I am, they don't want that. They don't like that. That scares them. Then on top of that, why ain't nobody going at Jeff Bezos? All he did was share it and like the link from Amazon. And everybody is upset with Kyrie because Kyrie know who he is. And they don't want him spreading that like wildfire. <laughs> Acts 5 and 33. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. <clears throat> Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, Gamaliel who taught Saul, had a reputation among all the people. So that means he was a renowned, a professor, you know, like Jordan Peterson or something like that during that time. I'm just saying in general, to get you to kind of understand the upper echelon he was in, according to the law, right? And commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourself what ye intend to do as touching these men. Remember what Paul said before? I was impaired by my own countrymen. So Gamaliel is talking to Israelite men trying to go against the Israelite men who so would be the apostles. Wow, look at that. For before these days rose up Thutis, boasting himself to be somebody hmm, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves. Who was slain and all as many as obey him was scattered and brought to naught. So in other words, this man thought he was somebody had a score of men following him, scores of men following him. And they he was slaughtered and they were scattered. Right. So in other words, that was what men did. Verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, us, the elect. Right. Yeah. And let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it. These happily ye be found even to fight against God. So Gamaliel was like, listen, if this is of men, it ain't going to come to nothing. But leave these men alone, because I know this is of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And they can't come against this truth. This light is going to shine forth. This darkness that has been, had us trapped and concealed for so long. We've been freed from it. Why? Because Yahweh shall said it. The truth shall set you free. Right? John 8 and 32, if I'm not mistaken. Verse 40. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Yeah, we, we finally rejoice for to be to be demonized by this world for speaking truth, evidently we got to be doing something right. Think about that, y'all. When you're doing something right, they hate you. They hate you. That's why I said, "Blessed be ye, happy. Blessed be ye when men have separated you from their, you know, from their company. I told evil of you. All we're doing is speaking the truth. They done it before. They do it again. For the spirit of the prophets is said to the prophet. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 42, and I'm closing out. And daily in the temple, in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And with that being said, pray I was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Allah. Shalom.